Before we get right into this video, I just have to plug a few things. One, I've been really having fun sending out all the Helmet Gang stickers, seeing all your Instagram stories, and I've been writing everybody a handwritten note. So if you want a thank you note from me and a Helmet Gang sticker, I'll leave a link at the top of my description. Speaking of the mail, I just opened up a P.O. box, so if you want to send me anything, the address is right here. Not really sure what to expect, but there you go. And last thing, it's time to start getting hyped for the Aeros Keiko Summer Line. Here's one of the products this funky banana shirt but the whole line is going to be really dope so if you want to be the first to find out about the Aeros Keiko summer line so you can grab something before anything sells out you can follow Aeros Keiko on Instagram all those links will be down in the description let's get to the video I've seen a lot of comments asking me to make a video about what to do if you're injured and can't skate so I've been going through what I would say is my first serious skateboarding injury that's really going to take me out of the game for a long time these tips are how I'm personally dealing with my skateboarding injury and I hope you find them inspiring Inspiring. Let's get right into it. Tip number one is about your mindset and this honestly might be the most important tip that I'm gonna give you in this video because it's gonna set a positive tone to your recovery and really allow you to thrive despite the physical setback. And I'm gonna kick this one off with a quote. The defining characteristic of the good person is to love and embrace whatever happens to him along his thread of fate. So in the face of a skateboarding injury, it's better to focus on what you do have in this present moment instead of focusing on what you've lost. So you could dwell on the fact that you can't skate anymore, but it takes a weight off your shoulders if you just accept it and turn to the present moment and see what you have in this present moment. So in my case, I realized how many loved ones I have in my life, my family, my friends, this beautiful cozy room that I get to hang out and recover in, good music, good books, hot coffee in the morning. There's a lot to be grateful for in this present moment, but you can go even further and really choose to see this as an opportunity. Sure you've lost skateboarding and it's okay to grieve that. I cried like a little baby for a second after my injury. Really accept your reality, realize what you still have to be grateful for, and then choose to see this as an opportunity. And the rest of these tips are gonna give you some concrete ways you can really turn this recovery period into a good, happy, productive, and restful time. Tip number two is to take care of your mind through some mindfulness practices. I feel like life moves so fast. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. But if you've just experienced an injury, you've just been given a very precious opportunity to slow down. Down. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. I know meditating is so good for me, but in busy day-to-day -day life, I often just neglect it. So I'm kind of framing it as a challenge for myself to try to meditate for 10 minutes every morning through the duration of this injury. And I definitely encourage you to do the same, especially if you've never tried meditation. I was very skeptical at first, but seriously, it has changed my life for the better. I really like this app called Waking Up. I use their meditations every morning. Again, sit however is comfortable and become aware of the feeling of your body resting in space. See if you can arrive immediately. Another phenomenal app that I discovered recently is called Stoic. This app actually incorporates a lot of the Stoic mindsets that I just talked about in the previous tip. It has a daily meditation, it has an evening journal, and I forgot to mention my favorite feature of the app, which is picking a daily affirmation. So one that's really good if you're dealing with an injury is, I am conquering my illness, I am defeating it steadily each day. And you get to see that nice and big on your home screen. Some other mindfulness practices I'm doing during this injury, I'm hoping to to do a yoga practice every day. I also want to keep an evening journal every night where I write down three amazing things that happened that day, three things that could have gone better, three things I'm grateful for, and just any other remaining thoughts that I have. All of these mindfulness practices really just help me feel grounded and at peace and help me maintain a perspective of gratitude. Another way you can nourish your mind is just by continuing to do the things that make you happy. For example, I don't necessarily need skateboarding to be happy, but I do feel like I need to spend time outside. So even when I was on crutches for the first few days before I got this beautiful walking boot, I was spending time outside every day as much as I could. Even if it's just chilling, sitting out on the sidewalk, I really need that sunshine in order to maintain my happiness. That has really helped nourish my mind and help me maintain a positive mood throughout this entire thing. Tip number three is to take care of your body through exercise and healthy eating. So I've never gone to the gym for my entire life. I've also always had a pretty 
mediocre diet, but a skateboarding injury can really call your attention to your body. Like, I don't know, I just had this flood of a realization that I should probably start taking care of my body so that I can do it. I love skateboarding for as long as possible. Like I would love to be like Tony Hawk, still shredding in my 50s. That's gonna require being a little bit more intentional with my health. Like I said in tip number one, you can really turn this injury into an opportunity. And that's what I'm doing by starting a workout routine and starting to cook healthier meals. And I need to give a massive shout out to my friend Adrian at Skate Athletics. This dude has an amazing YouTube channel where he shares exercise tips specifically for skateboarders. And he was nice enough to make me a robust workout routine for me while I'm recovering. I'll leave a link to Adrian's channel down in the description below. Please subscribe and tell him I sent you. He's got me doing all these like single leg exercises. It's incredible because like I said, part of why skateboarding makes me so happy is because it brings me outside and it gives me physical activity. So I like needed something to replace that physical activity. So these workouts are perfect because they just instantly elevate my mood and it's like improving my body. So I'm going to be a stronger skateboarder by the end of this injury. This is going to change the rest of my life. Like after this, I'm not going back. I'm going to get a gym membership once my foot is healed. I'm going to start working out so I could take care of my body and exercise for the rest of my life. If you guys know professional skateboarder Neen Williams, he experienced an ACL injury, which completely turned his life around. He quit drinking. He started exercising. He started eating healthy. Just tore my second ACL. It, it was definitely a heartbreaking situation, but I'm the type of person that takes disasters, things that go wrong in my life, like negativity, and I'll flip it around and turn it into a positive. Basically, I end up like I want to work out that's like my new thing while I can't skate. A skateboarding injury can really be a catalyst and help boost your motivation to start eating healthier and working out and it can change your entire life for the better. Tip number four is to pick up a new hobby. So for me, when I broke my foot, I immediately started looking on Facebook Marketplace for a cheap guitar. I found one, I picked it up the next day and I immediately started taking online guitar lessons. Life has so many beautiful activities to offer and skateboarding Skateboarding is great, don't get me wrong, but now that I have all this time without skateboarding, it's kind of exciting to be able to try something new. And it's like, it's so special to be a beginner at something. It has been feeling so good to progress at this new thing. And like now for the rest of my life, I'll kind of know what I'm doing on a guitar, whether I stick with it or not. It's pretty cool to have this background now. And you can learn literally anything online nowadays, which is pretty cool. You know, it could be a new instrument. You could start drawing, you could start painting. You could learn how to invest. I kind of rushed through this as I was filming this video, but I think learning about the stock market and investing for the first time while you're injured is a great idea. Here's a video I made about it on my second channel if you're interested in getting into investing. I'm also going to leave my Robinhood link in the description, which is a great way to get started investing. And actually, if you sign up with my link, they will give you a free stock. I signed up for Robinhood a couple years ago, totally forgot about my account. They gave me like a free $4 stock or something like that. And when I logged in a couple of years later, that stock was worth over $70. So just in case that motivates you to get into investing and let's continue the video. You could start playing chess, which was one of my recent obsessions. I made a video about it on my second channel. You know, you could also use this as an opportunity to start being a creator. You could start making TikToks, YouTube videos, a podcast. You got endless potential with this new time that you have to try out a new hobby. And you never know, you might fall in love with this. It might become your new career. It might become your new passion. Or, you know, maybe it's just a fun thing that you do during this time while you're Injury. Either way, it's gonna make you happier and that is freaking beautiful. I wanna show you guys what I've been working on. I'm making some progress. Let me just show you. First try. Second try. first solo is where it starts to go awry, but I have made some progress on that too. I might get demonetized for this, by the way, so please drop a like on this video. You know, 
it's just like skateboarding. You keep trying, you keep getting better slowly and slowly and yeah. On to the next tip. Tip number five is to revamp your living space. These tips all share this kind of common thread where they're things that have been in the back of my mind, but life just felt too busy. Like my room had started making me anxious for a while. It was just feeling a bit too crowded. And this injury finally gave me the opportunity to take care of it. So I moved a bunch of shit around. I reorganized some shelving. I threw away a bunch of shit that I didn't need to clear out more space in my room. Like I got rid of my carpet. This actually took me like two or three full days. So it was a great way to kill some time during the injury. And it made me feel so much better. Tip number six is to just and chill. <laughs> like this whole video so far has been about turning this injury into an opportunity and continuing your life and making progress and making changes that are going to benefit your life. But I think it's also important to realize that rest is just as important as progress in this life, especially if you've been injured, your body needs time to rest and recover. So don't forget to take time for yourself just to chill and relax, watch a movie, read a book, just freaking take a deep breath, you know, and let it go for a second. So those are my tips on what to do if you're injured and you can't skateboard. This is precisely the framework that I am personally using to get through my broken foot. And honestly, I'm freaking stoked and I'm freaking proud of myself for developing this positive mindset, for continuing to progress my life in these beautiful ways, and for taking the time to relax. You know, I, I really feel like I'm making the best of this situation. If I inspired you in some way, please remember to drop a like on this video. If you have any more tips for getting through a skateboarding injury, leave it in the comments down below so people who are scrolling can get even more insight and if you're part of the injured gang right now i feel your pain before you know it we're gonna get through this together remember to appreciate what you do have in this present moment and thank you so much for watching till next time take it easy